In this video 26, we're going to be adding and subtracting decimals with negatives. We're going to use the same rules that we have been with the, with the whole numbers, adding subtract whole numbers, and with the fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Take out your homework assignment. If you don't have your homework assignment, you can print out a copy from the Google Doc link at the bottom of the video. Okay, we're going to do four practice problems together, and then you have the six practice problems at the bottom of the page. Looking at problem number one, we have to first make a decision. Um, is it BSD or SSS? Different signs, difference, or same sign, sum? Before we can make that decision, there, we have to always change our subtraction into addition, to adding its opposite. After we complete that step, now we can decide, is it DSD or SSS? Well, we have a positive term here and a positive term here. So it's going to be an SSS, same sign, sum. Now, to a positive plus a positive, our answer is just more positive. Okay, so now we can ignore the signs for the rest of the problem because we know our answer is going to be a positive number. Okay, so we're going to take 17. 0.9 and we're going to add 19.4 okay since we're using using addition the order does not matter okay? it's important that we line up our decimal points therefore our place values will be in line okay? so we start from the right and go left 9 plus 4 is 13 we need to carry our 1. Okay, put our decimal point in our answer. 1 and 7 is 8, and 9 is 17. Carrying our 1. 1, 1, and 1 is 3. So our answer is going to be 37.3. Okay. Let's take a look here at number 2. Going the same steps. I'm going to add opposite. So this becomes a same sign sum, and our answer is just going to be positive. So very similar to the first problem. We're going to stack it as 3.4 plus, now that 2 goes underneath the 3 because it has the same place value. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to put my 1 out front. And so uh, if you want to, another easy way to do this, is start with the decimal points. So if you start with the decimal points, they're always going to be lined up. And then you can put your 4, and then your 3, your 1, your 2, and your 1. So if that helps you by just stacking the decimal points to keep them in line, okay, go ahead and do that first. And that might help some of you out. Now let's go ahead and do the addition. 4 and 1 make 5, put your decimal in your answer, 3 and 2 make 5, and then bring down your 1. So our answer is positive 15.5. Okay, let's look at problem number 3. Now add composite. We have a negative term and a positive term, so this is a D, S, D type problem. Our answer, well, we have to look. We have more negatives here or more positives. We have more negatives, so our answer is going to be negative. Now, we, have, we can ignore signs until the very end when we have to put the sign on our answer. Okay? So we're going to stack it with the larger number, okay, ignoring the signs, the larger number on top. So it's going to be 14.8, and we're going to subtract 9. Point seven. Okay. If you're having trouble lining up your place values, put the two decimals first. Okay. Now, 8 take away 7 is going to be 1. Put your decimal point in. Okay. You've got a bar. We have 4, and we're trying to take 9 away. Can't do that now. Get to the 0. And we're going to put, make that 14. 14 take away 9 is 5. Now, we don't put the zero on front. We don't start a whole number with zero. So it's 
and then we have to make sure we put the sign on it answer. So it's negative 5.1. Number four, we're going to add opposite. First term is positive, second term is negative. So this is a BSV, different signs, different. More negative, or excuse me, more positive or more negative. Well, there's more negatives here. Okay, so our answer is going to have a negative. Now we're going to stack it with the largest number ignoring signs, the largest number on top. So we're going to put 8.5 on top, and we're going to subtract. Now, we've got to make sure we line up those decimal points. Okay, 9 and 6. Okay. Now, we're trying to take 6. We have to subtract 6 from something here. Well, we have to put it in 0. Okay, that does not change the value of the number. Okay, 8.5 is still equal to 8.5. Zero. Right? This zero has no value, it's just holding a place value so that I can subtract. Okay. Now I'm going to cross out my five. Five is going to become eight, four. This is going to become ten. Ten take away six is now four. Okay, four. If we have four, try and take nine away. Again, I got a bar. That becomes seven. This is fourteen. Fourteen take away nine is five. Bring down your zero. 7 take away 0 is 7. And then I'll put my sign on my answer. So my answer is negative 7 and 5 fourths. Okay. Now, go ahead and pause the video. Um, after you're done working out those six problems at the bottom, on pause the video, and you can go ahead and check your answers. Okay. So, you've completed those six problems. Go ahead now and check them. Here are your answers. Write down any questions or problems that you have and bring those questions to class tomorrow. Okay? Thank you for taking time to do your homework tonight. Bye.